trainer Sarah from Prina Farms here in my own home with all of my crazy dogs. Well today is Toenail Tuesday, so all of these dogs, they need their nails trimmed, and I decided to take time to show you guys how I get my dogs desensitized to the nail trimming process and teach them to enjoy it as well. So one of the things I did want to mention is what tool you're going to be using to trim your dog's nails. Now there's a whole bunch of different kinds out there, everything from scissor type style nail trimmers to guillotine types all the way to a rotary tool like a Dremel. Now the Dremel is definitely my preferred method because I get a nice rounded finish plus there's no pressure of that nail trimmer squeezing down on the nail and I'm going to prevent my dog from scratching me or anything like that when the nails are trimmed. I can gradually take off a little bit by little bit and that way I know I won't be hitting the quick at all. Now it does take some effort to desensitize your dog to the Dremel and that's what we'll be talking about today. If you need tips on how to properly trim your dog's nail, definitely talk to your veterinarian. Give them a call and they should be able to direct you to some resources on how to do that. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the nail trim with all of these dogs here. And I'm going to show you my favorite ways to do that. There's actually two different methods I use for these dogs because they're all so different. The Dremel is here, it's ready to go, and I also do have my dog's favorite treats here as well because I want this to be a great experience for them. All right guys, stick around, we're gonna trim some dog nails. Easily, 
and I can um, make sure that they really enjoy that process too. It turns into a little bit of a cuddle as well as a male trim. So I want to make sure that she's going to be okay with that process. Now, as I demonstrated earlier in the video, there's lots of different ways to restrain your dog for nail trims, but this is just my preferred method. Whichever way you choose, just make sure you take it nice and slow, go step by step, and make sure that your puppy is nice and comfortable with that process. So all I'm going to do is set her in that position, and then give her some access to that food. Now, if she wasn't eating this food, I would think that she'd be a little bit nervous, so I'd take it a little bit slower. When she's nice and calm, I'm just going to go ahead and let her right back up so that she learns that there is an end to this. All right, now that she's had a little bit of a break, I can go ahead and put her back into that position. Give her a little bit of food. I know, I know. It's okay. There we go. Make sure she's nice and settled. Play with her toes a little bit, and then let her back up. I always want to make sure she's nice and calm when I let her back up so that she learns that that's how she gets up and she gets a little bit of a break. So now that she's learning to settle in a little bit, I'm going to start taking the food away for little breaks of time so that she's learning that she can wait in this position for that reinforcement, for that reward of the food. And then that way, she won't have to have the food given to her the entire time she's having a nail trim, but she's learning that there's a little bit of a pause in between getting that food. As long as she just waits patiently, the food will come back. What do you think? You want to try again? She's like, give me that food. It's good. It's good food. So we keep doing this process, getting her into the position, reinforcing her, giving her a little pause in between, playing with her toes, bringing that food back. Keep doing this until she's 100% comfortable. You got food on your, on your schnoz. Good. Good. And making sure she's nice and calm, and then we'll go ahead and let her up. I'll keep doing that step until she is definitely happy being in that position. All right, the next step is to start showing her what that Dremel looks like and sounds like when she's laying on her back like that. So same thing. Flip her up. Put her a little bit of food. Hold her paw. Turn on the Dremel. And give her some of that food again. That way she's just getting used to the noise happening while she's laying in that position, and that is a good thing. Now each time we do this, I'm paying attention to what her tail is doing. Is it nice and up? Is she happy and confident? Is she coming back for more? And is she still willing to eat that food? If she's not doing any of those things, her tail's maybe down, she's a little apprehensive, or she's struggling when I put her in the position, then we're going to take a break and come back another day. All right, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next step. Now I'm going to go ahead and touch the Dremel to her paw so that she can feel the vibration. But the pattern still stays the same. I put her in the position, I give her a little bit of food, I handle her paw, and then give her more food reward, and then let her up from there. So here she is. A little bit of food. I know, good girl. with this position and that can start doing multiple nails and eventually a whole foot and then eventually the full nail trim without having to have a break. You want to make sure you take it nice and slow, always checking, making sure that they're coming back for the next repetition, that they're eating the food and that they're not scared. All right, you ready to try a nail trim? Stay home and have fun with your dogs.